All right friends, welcome back to another video on building multi-purpose Laravel in view through application. And in this video, I will show you how we can work on adding change password feature in our application. So here we have this change password form. So when user want to change their password, then they can simply fill out this form with current password, new password and confirm new password. And after they fill out the form and click on save changes, then they will be able to change their password. So let me give you the demo first. Uh, here if i click on save changes then we have the validations but let me enter the valid uh, password and if i click on save changes now it is saying that password changed successfully which is perfect now we will be able to log in with that new password so throughout this video i will see how we can do this exact thing step by step so now let's get started okay so let me open up the code editor and let me go to update profile.view file and after this update profile method let me create another state for change password form so let's do change password form let's make this as reactive and make sure to import this as well so over here and inside this let's define current password as empty string password is empty string and password confirmation is empty string and now when someone click on save changes then we need to handle that event so let's do that part let me search for save changes yeah we have this and this is wrapped inside a form so let's go to the form tag and over here we can listen for the form submit event and prevent the default behavior and let's call the method called handle change password now let's create this method over here let's define handle change password and inside this we can perform the xcs request so let's do xcs.post and you want to hit the endpoint called API slash change user password and we'll pass this change password form data and then we'll get the response back and let's use toaster to display the success message and let's display the message from response.data.message and this will not work because we haven't added this endpoint so let's create this endpoint on web.psv file over here let's create the post route call api change user password and we'll be using that same controller called profile controller and let's call the method called change password now let's go to profile controller and let's create that method called change password change password let's pass the request and we have installed 45 so we'll be using 45 for changing the password so as the second argument let's pass update user password which is inside of, uh, of 45 over here app actions 45 we have this classical update user password so we'll be using that and let's define this as updater and if i go to this class and on the update method we are performing the validations uh, with these fields current password and password and after the validation is passed then we are changing the password which is perfect so we'll be using that over here we can simply do updater update we are calling the update method on this class and for the update method we want to pass authenticated user as the first argument and as the second argument we can pass the area of data so we can pass current password is request current password and then password is request password and password confirmation is request password confirmation and after the password is updated we can return the success response using written response json let's pass the message called password 
changed successfully now let me try this let me go to change password let's fill out this form click on save changes so it is not displaying anything let me open up the console let me go to network tab and let me click on save changes and we are getting 422 which is the validation error and it is saying the current password field is required and we are getting the validation zero because we haven't added v model on these input elements so let's do that let me go to update profile at view file and let me search for passport and we have this input element over here let's add v model equals since password form dot current password and to v model equals change password form dot password and for this v model equals change password form dot password confirmation now let's try this fill out this form click on save changes and we are still getting the error but currently we are getting different messages and it is saying the provided password doesn't match with your current password now if i enter the valid password Click on save changes and it is displaying the toast notification which is password change successfully which is perfect. But there are a few things that we need to fix. Over here we need to clear this form and also we need to show the validation error over here as well. Right? So first of all let's clear the form and then we'll work on validations. Let me go over here and search for change password form and after we receive this success message we can simply do change password form dot current password is empty string similarly we can do change password form dot password equals empty string but instead of doing that i will show you another approach using for loop let me try this password 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 and these fields are cleared right which is perfect but instead of doing this for each and every field, we can simply use for loop. So let's do that. For, let's define the constant called field in change password form. And over here, we can do change password form field equals empty string. And it is same as what we did before, but here we are using for loop instead of doing that manually for every field, right? Now let me test it. Let me go to change password. Let me enter the password. Click on save changes. Now these fields are cleared. And if I click on save changes, we don't see the validation errors. So let's work on that part. Simply we can copy this catch block. We have already done that. So over here, let's add that catch block. And before we submit this form request, we need to clear the error using error.value equals empty string. Now to display the message, we need to add that section below that input. So let me copy this. Let me search for password. Here we have it. And over here, let's add that. And if we have errors and errors.current password, Let's do the same for the password as well. And we don't need to do anything for these password confirmations because it will show this error over here on this password field. And now if I come to this page, we see this validation error and it is saying the current password is required and the password field is required. Now if I enter these details, So click on save changes and it is saying that password confirmation does not match which is what i expected and if i enter the valid details click on save changes now the password is changed we see that notification and our form is also cleared so all right this much for this video i hope you learned something from this video so don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel as i'll be uploading the videos like this so till then have a great time and i will see you on the next one